you want to learn how to make this amazing drag skull makeup, stay and watch until the very end to find out all the tips and tricks of what I did to make this beautiful skull drag queen makeup. Hello! Okay, so today I'm basically going to be doing a... I don't know how to say this because it's not really Halloween yet, so I wanted to do something different, I guess. So drag skeleton, basically. If you don't know what drag is, it's it's uh, a community of uh, feminine men who dress up and are awesome, basically. You can look up what drag is. So uh, this is El Goyo, and he's a local relative. Uh, and so yeah, let's just get into it. So uh, once again, Walmart because love it. So I'm using a Fantasy Mar Makers, just a white paint for his majority of his face because he has a beard. I'll be avoiding that to an extent. Anyways, get into it. Okay, so now going in with the same fantasy makers but in black on cheekbone areas and nose and eyes and, you know, everywhere skeleton-like, so, yes. Okay, so next is the drag part of the drag skeleton. So I'm going to be using Milani lipstick, uh, matte lipstick, matte lip gloss lipstick stuff in the shade 10 in satin. Now we're gonna go in with blush on just above the cheekbones in that general cheekbone area with blush palette that I used in my Uraraka makeup tutorial. 
matte blush palette, just blush palette that I always use. And uh, just gonna go in with these two colors. And once again, there's no shades, so there's just it's just colors. So mix that too. That and then. Okay, so for next bit, because I already have the cheeks and a bit of the nose pink and the lips red, what I'm going to do now is go in with just a crease brush and with my lovely festival palette, and I'm going to go in with DJ Fanny Pack Ge Geode and Stu Superstar. So I'm going to go in with these three colors in order, or four colors, sorry, in order of what I just said. shade Superstar, so this one right here, the shade Superstar on the under side all the way from the corner to the outer corner of the eye. Just kind of, you know, make it pop. is it's white so if you just use this and just keep layering it up it'll just be white mascara so I'm gonna just do white mascara because I think it'll look cool on the contrast of the black so it's like kind of contrasts out but it, you can see it and last but not least we're gonna use highlighter and I put my highlighter in a chapstick tube because it's convenient for me so just use my finger and kind of just get a little bit of it on there and this is literally like an unlabeled um, 
is this is an unlabeled highlighter because it's unlabeled. So I just got some. It's like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> personally I'm very happy with how it turned out because I I didn't expect it honestly to turn out as well as it did for what it is so basically the whole thing is basically it's not grease paint it's face paint so it's it's face paint and because you know tis the season it's September almost October not yet but I thought you know maybe something different switch it up so I'm very, I'm glad of how this turned out. I really like it. You like how it turned out? Yeah, me too. So, this is the end of the video. I will show a clip of up close, all the way around, circling the face. And, uh, yeah. I hope you stay to the end, and I'm very grateful that you did. Thank you for watching. Bye!